Hello everyone. So one of the things that I've been talking about is adding kind of a structure to your piece. So we're going to create um, a grid. So we, we, we know about like rule of thirds and all of those different things that we've talked about. In this, we're going to create something that's a little bit more haphazard. This was originally created by Andrew Loomis to work with his um, illustrations. Uh, so this is a very analog thing. It was actually created way before we really had use of computers. But I think it's something that can be used as a guide in drawings as well. Sometimes if you're having um, kind of artist block or something like that, this might be able to come along and help you. Now when we create the guide, we're going to come across a few, um, there's going to be a lot of lines, right? You don't have to put something on every single line. Once again, there's just going to be a little bit of structure that is created kind of from this haphazard way that we're creating the grid. So to do this, we're going to be using the line tool. And the line tool will be right around here, it's probably somewhere near the um, pen tool here. And if you don't see it, you might want to just hold down your mouse and see if it's around here. So there it is, line tool. Now, one of the things with the line tool when you're using it, um, you can get things that are just kind of slightly off center. For this, it's going to ask you to do a lot of vertical and horizontal lines. And the way that you can make sure that something stays and kind of sticks to a vertical and horizontal is by holding down the shift key. You can see that it kind of snaps at 45 degree angles. All right. So to start off, what you're going to do is you're going to create a vertical line. And the one place is that, that you don't want to do it is you don't want to do it either within the quarters. So this is right here, kind of halfway or at the halfway point, just to add a little bit of variety to the piece. So here, here, and here. You want to avoid that. So somewhere in this area or even really far over here or wherever. All right. So once you draw your first line, you're then going to draw a diagonal. You're going to do the diagonal from one corner to the other, making sure that it crosses this vertical line. So here, going from here to here, and you can see I now have a point where it intersects. At that intersection point, you're then going to draw a horizontal. So there you go right there. Now you've got a few different uh, squares or rectangles, one here, one here, here, and here. And what you're going to do is find one of those rectangles and cross it. So if we look right here, I've found kind of this rectangle and I've crossed from this point to this point. You're then at that intersection going to write, do another vertical. Then at any other point here, you can create more horizontals and verticals and kind of continue until you get something that looks like this, until it looks like you've got enough. And then just to kind of reiterate how this is happening, here we've got, once again, we're crossing the square that is kind of being created from here and here. We're doing a cross there, and then where we have that cross, we're just going to do another one. And we're just going to kind of go through, kind of keep finding uh, squares or rectangles, doing a cross to that, and then at the intersection, do a horizontal or vertical all the way through until you get something that looks kind of interesting. You don't want to overpack it. We're going, then going to go and save this to our project folder, and then we're going to import it into Photoshop. And I'll show you how to do that later. 